What's going on guys? So here in this box is an Xbox 360 that I actually bought from a subscriber. And so some background on the situation. Basically he commented on one of my YouTube videos. I don't remember which one it was, but I just happened to see the comment. Um, and it said, you know, I have a 360, some controllers, uh, some games, are you interested in buying it? And I said, sure, why not? You know, let's feel it out. And so he sent me a DM on Instagram with some pictures. Um, to be honest, uh, those pictures disappeared, so I don't <laughs> remember exactly what's in here. Uh, I think it was a bunch of games, some controllers. Um, you know, the 360, I'm pretty sure it was a slim. And we agreed on 200 bucks, and so he sent it to me. And, you know, here we are. So I, I ripped off the, you know, the addresses and stuff for obvious reasons. But let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. So, things will be packaged up pretty well. Hopefully it's packaged up inside better than GameStop usually does. We'll see. And like I said, I paid 200 bucks um, to them. Got some games in here. Um, I can't remember if it was like one controller, or two controllers or what, but uh, here we go. All right, so, bunch of games as I said. Let's go ahead and go through these and see what we got here. So, first of all, we got Assassin's Creed Platinum Hits. Got the game, the manual. Looks to be in pretty good condition. Okay. Uh, Skate 2. Oh, this is my favorite, one of my favorite games of all time. I actually have this game already. Um, Skate 2. Got the manual in here and the disc. Cool. Minecraft. A hard copy of Minecraft. Nice. And, okay, so got the game in here. No manual. FIFA 16. I didn't know you could do FIFA 16 with Connect. Uh, we've got the game in here. Cool. Batman Arkham City. I'm pretty sure I played this Batman. Let me see. Uh, Catwoman. Uh, you know, I, th I think I played part of this. We got the game. Got the manual. We got GTA 4. Nice. I haven't played GTA 4 in ages. Um, okay, cool. Got the, got the disc. No manual, that's okay. GTA 5, nice. <laughs> and I just want to touch on GTA 5. So, uh, just recently the PS5 got announced, and they announced GTA 5 is also going to be on the PS5, which is ridiculous. It's across three generations now, you know, the PS3, PS4, and PS5, uh, which is really funny. And, uh, I just had to mention it. But we actually still got the map in here. That's pretty cool. Got the map and the manual. Uh, two discs. This thing looks like it's broken, but that's not a big deal. All right. And we're still going. So we got Hitman Blood Money. Oh, looks like the disc came out. It's not surprising because it's in one of those crappy GameStop cases. Um, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Okay, nice. I, th I don't think I played this Assassin's Creed. I think I started it one time and never finished it. Back when Assassin's Creed had some good games. And we're still going. Dang, there are a lot of games in here. Uh, Black Ops 2, Call of Duty, got our game, no manual. We got Tony Hawk's Pro Proving Ground, Proving Ground, I'm not sure. Haven't played that before. Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe. Haven't played, uh, maybe I did play this, I don't remember. Got the manual and the game. Marvel Ultimate Alliance, dude, I haven't played this game in ages. Manual in the game. That was a pretty fun game, though. I actually like the second one better. Uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. So I don't keep up with the Call of Duty games that much, but isn't this one, like, fairly recent? I don't know about recent, but one of the newer games. Um, 2015, maybe? I don't know. Next game. Grand Theft Auto Episodes from Liberty City. All right, so I think this was, like, an add-on to GTA 4, if I remember correctly. So that's pretty cool. We got GTA 4, Liberty City, and GTA 5. So we got our manual and our disc. Nice. Two more games left, guys. So FIFA 17. Cool. Can't complain. And last but not least, Homefront. I've heard of this game, but never played it. So I actually just went through and counted, and it came with 17 games. So I'd say that's a pretty solid haul. And of course here we have the Xbox 360 now, which I forgot that he actually included the original box. You know, I always think it's nice when a console has the original box. It's just an easy way to store it, easy way to transport it if you have to. Um, and it's just, it, it's, it's clean, you know, you don't have to deal with stacking your console on top of other consoles, uh, which is nice. And so let's go ahead and take a look at this box and just see what we got here. So it looks like it's the Xbox 360, four gigabyte, and it's actually not the slim guys, it's actually 
whatever came after the Slim, I don't know what it's called, but it came out kind of close to when the, the Xbox One came out, I think, because I never actually had my hands on one of these newer consoles. Um, well, it's not really new anymore, uh, but it looks like it came with Peggle 2, but I think that's a digital game. Yeah, so I probably won't get that. Um, yeah, pretty standard. Box is in pretty decent condition. Not like perfect or anything, but I've seen worse. Let's go ahead and take this thing out. So, all right, so here we got HDMI cable. I have like a million of those things. Uh, power cable. Um, oh, we got our AV cables in case, in case you don't have an HDMI port. And here's the rest of the power brick. Cool. And down here, what we got? Oh, we got a little headset. I don't know if this came with the 360 or if it's separate, but it looks kind of beat up, which is expected because it's a pretty, pretty cheap headset. And down here, I think, is the controller. There we go. So, controller's in uh, decent condition. You know, it's pretty, pretty worn out, which is expected of an old 360 controller. Um, but yeah, I can't complain too much. And then here we go. Here is the actual 360. Oh, wait, there's a bunch of other stuff down here. What do we got? All right, so I guess I'll just show these on the screen. And if you guys, <laughs> I, I doubt any of these are still valid, but you know, first come, first serve, you can try it out. Two days of Xbox Live Gold. Uh, another, uh, I think this is another Xbox, yeah, two day Xbox Live trial. Black Ops digital download. Yeah, it's not even valid anymore. So go ahead and try it if you want to, but I doubt it'll work. Another game add-on. Go ahead and try that if you want to, but I'm, I'm sure it's already redeemed. Got some more down here too. Season pass, nothing there. And then a home, cr home front battle code. Go ahead and try that out as well if you want to. And then even further down, we actually got a, a 32 gig uh, flash drive. I wonder if he's got some games on here or something. But that looks to be it in the box. So let's go ahead and take a look at this console itself. So here's the console, guys, and just a quick rundown, I guess. Uh, this part over here is glossy, this part is matte. So obviously the matte part's not really gonna get scratched up, but the glossy has a ton of scratches. Uh, pretty obvious. I don't know if you can see that in the light. I, I would figure you can, because of how many there are. And on the front, we got our power button, our eject button, uh, another glossy part, a bunch of scratches. And we still got this little notice on here. So you can probably see a difference. If I, if I were to remove the sticker, it'd probably be super clean under here. And then right here, you know, it's all the scratches. And then we got our sync button, a couple of USB ports. Okay. Then let's turn it on the bottom, I guess. And same thing as the top, a bunch of scratches. You can see these a little bit better as well. And still got a rubber, rubber feet, which is nice. And let's check out the back. So on the back here, uh, we got our power port, I guess. I'm assuming that's an auto looking power port. Uh, we got our HDMI ports, AV, uh, Ethernet jack. That's one of those Xbox 360 proprietary ports, and a couple USB ports as well. And then on the side, it's pretty self-explanatory on the side. It's just a you know air vents, as you can see. So yeah, here's the console. Uh, looks in other than all the scratches, it looks to be in pretty decent condition. Especially if I were to wipe it off, I think that would get rid of some of these uh, scratches and marks on it. But let's go ahead over to my TV and plug it in and see if it works. All right, guys, so I'm plugged up and everything. I uh, got my HDMI cord plugged in, or the one he gave me. I uh, also got the power plugged in. Got the controller, which actually has batteries in it, which is nice. I don't have to go fetch some batteries. And I'm gonna try out these three games, Skate 2, GTA 4, and Assassin's Creed. And here we have the little um, flash drive. We're gonna put that in and see what's on it. So let's go ahead and try to turn this thing on and see if it boots up. So there we go. And it should pop up pop up on the screen momentarily. Hopefully. There it is. Nice. That classic startup screen. I always love seeing old startup screens that I haven't experienced in a long time. Alright, so it looks like he hasn't deleted his info, I guess. Let's go ahead and see if this controller turns on. Yep, so there's controller. And we'll go ahead and I guess just play as him because why not? Alright, cool. So here we are, guys. Got our console. Everything looks normal right now. I'm kind of interested in the storage to see if... Yes, yeah, so he left all his 
games and stuff. So I could probably resume whatever he's playing and maybe get some save data. Now I'm interested in what's on here. I'm assuming that this flash drive will probably have some other game data just because this is only a four gigabyte uh, console, which is, you know, not much memory at all. So I'm assuming that this flash drive will have some additional, um, I don't know what it'll have on it actually. Nothing. <laughs> all right, well, I guess it's just a bonus, you know, 32 gigs to store some extra data on it if I want to. But yeah, there's nothing on it, so we'll disregard that. We'll go ahead and play some games. Start out with Skate 2 as we got here. This is one of my favorite games of all time. And how do I open this up? Physical button. All right, so it's booting up now. You can hear the disc spinning. Let's go ahead and go back to the main menu and and it looks like it's booting up automatically. So here is our EA game and it looks like it's working. And just a note, I'm pressing this I'm pressing these buttons and let me see if they all work. So A X Y B, they all seem to work. The left trigger is a little a little wonky. The right works better. It's mainly this LB, it's a little wonky. And then the start button is a little little wonky as well. Everything else seems to be okay. But here we go, guys. So, looks like Skate 2 is booting up. Nice. Dude, I spent so many hours in this game. Alright, let's go back. Looks like it's working. So, we're one for one so far. Let's go ahead and inject this. Skate 2. Put it off to the side, and we got GTA 4. It's been ages since I played GTA 4. I actually never, I never played it a ton. Um, I did play it some, but I don't think I ever beat the game. I don't remember why I never beat it. I feel like I sold it at some point, but yeah, I don't. I just don't remember why. So reading up the game, and yeah, depending on how you have it set up on the 360, it'll either boot up the game automatically, or you'll have to click on it, and it looks like he had it boot, booting up automatically, which is fine. I prefer to do it manually, so if I'm like screwing around in the menus, like doing something, it doesn't automatically load up, but that's just my personal preference. It doesn't really matter, to be honest. So that's interesting. It thinks it's 4 a.m., which it is not. But nice. Looks like GTA 4 is working as well. I guess we'll, uh, while, we're, while it's loading up, let's kind of take a look through here. So he's got 2,700 on his achievements. Um, yeah, just all the standard stuff. Oh, I forgot you could play music on here. <laughs> I actually used to do this every once in a while where I'd be playing a game and the music sucked and I'd like load up my own music on a USB drive, I think. And you could actually play music in the background, which is pretty cool. I think you can maybe do that on the PS4 or Xbox One, but I'm not sure to be honest. Uh, but it looks like this game is loading up. So let's go ahead and get back to the main screen. And we'll try out our final game, Assassin's Creed. It's not just any Assassin's Creed. This is like the the OG Assassin's Creed. When I first looked at it, I was like, "What?" A, I was like, "Which which Assassin's Creed is this?" And I saw the first two words, Assassin's Creed, and I was like, "All right, which which version is it?" And then I realized, "Oh, this is the, you know, this is the the OG, the number one. That's why there's no like a Brotherhood or Assassin's Creed two or three or whatever." But yeah, so we're reading it, booting up. So far, we're two for two. I think this will make us three for three if, if this goes through. And yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty pleased so far. Uh, you know, the console has a pretty decent number of scratches, but it's kind of hard to prevent that when you got a, a, a console that's so glossy like this one is. It looks like our game is booting up here. Uh, but yeah, it's it seems to be working well. Uh, you know, the controller has a few issues, uh, but we got a, we got a ton of games. Uh, 200 bucks, I feel like, is a pretty fair deal on, on, on both sides. You know, 360 is not worth a ton nowadays. Uh, so I think 200 bucks straight up got you a decent amount of money. And it also gives me a decent number of games as well. And here we go. So it looks like it's working. And of course, it's going to make me load up. And I guess, oh, I have to do new. I guess that's why I have to do new because there's no... There's no save data. That's why it wasn't letting me scroll down. Nice. Bring back the memories, dude. 360. Those were the days. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I guess this might become a trend. If you guys like it, uh, you know, when I buy a console from a subscriber, I guess everybody's gonna do this anyway, but go ahead and down in the comments and let me know if you want me to buy something from you. And we might work something out and 
maybe we can do some more videos like this because uh, I, I think this went well. I uh, enjoyed this. I know I figure subscribers are probably more, more reliable than GameStop, but it will be interesting when one day I come across a subscriber that sends me a completely dead console and, you know, <laughs> that'll be a funny video. But thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video and have a great day.